Virgo. Welcome back to another episode in your love life. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings. And if you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below. I do have someone now who is also taking bookings at my channel on my website. His name is Dominic. Once you go over and book your reading, there will be an option to book with either me or Dominic. He has a lot of hours available. Uh, much more than I do so go on over and try him out he is on YouTube his channel is called cope less tarot uh, so links will be in the description box below as well okay so Virgo be mindful that some of the messages may or may not resonate take what fits leave the rest and hello everyone in the chat and all of my new subscribers and old and everyone in the comments okay let's see what your love messages are for the rest of January and uh, my gosh I can't even believe we are in the third week of January already so there's only uh, like a week two weeks left okay three cards fell out you have camera separation love call okay Virgo really quick somebody's looking at your pictures <laughs> reminiscing thinking about you learning from the past wants to make more memories with you um definitely somebody is seeing you somehow some way if it's not cap it's not um gosh i can't talk if it's not pictures it's looking through the fish ends uh fish lens the fish eye lens my goodness um scoping you out i do feel like someone here that you might be in separation with this person they are sitting here with some sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Um, and I do feel like there will be a love call from somebody here who's going to reach out to you. All right, let me see. Let's get into the rest of this reading. What the heck is going on, Virgo? All right, I'm gonna do a Celtic cross. I just feel called to do that tonight. Okay, past position. You have the fool, current position. You have the Eight of Cups, the Block. You have the Five of Wands, the Root of the Problem. Ace of Pentacles. You have the Possibilities, the Two of Swords. Where you're heading, the Wheel of the Year, Wheel of Fortune, Position of Your Advice. You have the Hanged Man, what's external to you, the Eight of Wands, Hopes and Fears, Five of Cups, and your outcome or where the energy is heading you have the tower and i will pull some clarifying cards on the major arcana all right also wait i forgot to tell you the bottom of the deck you have the moon okay virgo so right now there's like hmm a little bit of uncertainty is what i feel is pisces energy right here so yeah the the overall message here right now feels like um you're trusting your intuition okay and you're making some voluntary changes but you're definitely going by the vibes the decisions that you're making in december or december maybe it was for some of you in december the, the decisions that you are making going forward are going to be more based on your vibes your intuition your feeling so you're kind of like a blind person feeling the, your way through a room um trying not to trip over any chairs you're you're going definitely in a direction of not knowing exactly where things are where the exit is where the entrance is which direction you need to go how you need to get there but i feel like you're just following your vibes okay from this point on now listen in the past you have the fool so the recent past there was some kind of breaking free energy in the recent past okay took some kind of chance um set out on a new path a new adventure um got some hope felt a sense of fresh hope aquarius energy there starting off on your own having some kind of a new beginning let me move these cards a little so you guys can hopefully you can see them okay so definitely starting off on your own in the recent past you did something Virgo let me clarify to see if I can get more information what happened in the past here okay yeah you're at a crossroads Virgo and you came to a place where you needed to make a decision about you know which path you were going to what you're going to take some of you had to wait to find something out before you took a step so recent past 
it looks like you were trying to break out on your own or do something take some kind of a risk but you weren't exactly sure which direction you wanted to go if you wanted to go left or right forward or back and it looks like some of you got to the point where you just said screw it I'm just gonna do it and wherever I end up that's wherever I end up and I kind of feel like your intention was to get yourself in a position where you need to separate yourself from something or someone so that you could follow your heart your passion your dreams okay which is what the eight of cups is okay so it it definitely feels like a decision needed to be made and either it wasn't getting made and you had to make it yourself or um it feels like a decision about some type of a partnership, whether it's romantic with somebody else, okay? It feels like right now you, um, you're you looking kind of like at your dreams. You're looking at what you want for yourself that's going to make your heart very happy. I feel like right now you're in withdrawal mode from someone. You've retreated. Some of you have moved on. Some of you might have gotten, a, uh, felt a sense of abandonment. Maybe somebody left you or just walked out or ghosted. And it looks like right now you, um, uh, you might have been waiting and you decided just to go on your own and stopped waiting. Okay, so here you are, right? The situation where what you're sitting with right now is this Eight of Cups. You don't know if there's going to be a return, whether that's by you or another person. I feel like when I look at this card, there's eight cups there on the bottom, and I feel like you're looking out into your dreams up there is that ninth cup somewhere, and you're seeking to find it. And that ninth cup is singular, which represents the ace of cups. So you're looking, hoping for a new beginning in love, whether it's with somebody from your past or somebody new, okay? So you're being very open. Now, in the position of the root of the problem is, <laughs> just whenever I see aces aces are always to me the potential okay they're like a it's like getting a gift and it being under your tree or somebody gets you a gift but it's not opened yet so it's there and it's it's it has the potential to be something great but you don't know because you haven't unwrapped the gift yet and I feel like that's the root of the problem there's something there's some type of a gift that has not been unopened yet, okay? Now, either that's a love relationship that didn't get off the ground and it, it had so much potential, but it didn't go anywhere or something broke it apart or somebody bailed or left, or this is just all of these gifts that you have, your abundance, <clears throat> excuse me, that's available to you at this time, but you have yet to unwrap these gifts, okay? And that is the problem. It feels like Virgo, there are so many gifts available to you, but for some reason, you are unable to unwrap these gifts to show you what your abundance is. Now, let me take a look here and see. Oh, Virgo, Three of Swords. Yeah. Um, I feel like some of you might have some kind of unconscious thing going on where it's like if I uh, if I acknowledge this gift it might be just a box full of nothing that there might not be anything there some of you are trying not to break your own hearts for sure um, some of you also the root of the problem is you don't feel you're deserving of this of love you don't feel uh, some of you might not feel like you are deserving of an apology that you'll ever get something or that you'll ever recover after loss to be able to open up this new um, box of abundance. Some of you feel like you're not worthy or deserving of physical healing. You know, th th there's a lot going on in the subconscious and I feel like that's why the moon card was here because I feel like at this time you're trying to unlock all those hidden dreams, all those hidden emotions, those hidden messages. Um, and you're basically, some of you might just be walking around numb at this time and completely relying on your intuition and your senses to get you through, okay? Um, or relying on spirit to get you through something. Now, the block right now to you achieving 
that new something new that's going to make your heart happy is the five of wands so you're fighting it okay you're fighting something here you might be telling yourself oh there's too much competition or um, this person you know uh, you have to fight for their love and you don't want to do that you know um and the blockages too might just be that in order for you to have something new in your life you have to get out of your own way some of you are just completely in your own way you're fighting everything or you're fighting every person and this is you know maybe there's just this energy of that you haven't healed from something just yet and you know what virgo that's okay you don't have to uh, rush your pace is your pace um i also feel like the block that's preventing you from moving towards your wish fulfillment is obstacles that you might be putting in front of yourself okay and I'm not sitting here doing the victim shaming or victim blaming thing I feel like at this time right now especially going through this mercury retrograde which is actually almost over i believe on wednesday it will be over and then we have the post shadow period i think this block is am i putting up blocks to something am i being impatient was i waiting for something to happen and somebody didn't do something for whatever reason and so i put a you know i took off or i left okay some of you might have that energy going and look here's the lovers and the four of wands some of some of you wanted to have this long-term loving sacred union with someone okay stability and structure but there might have been an energy here where another person was putting up blocks of a lack of commitment they were blocking committing or they were living in fantasy land and they couldn't do it you know a lot of struggles here a lot of struggles but i'm gonna tell you i feel like there's somebody else here okay i will tell you right now there's pisces aquarius um scorpio energy here okay i do feel like whoever um this person is that you're in separation with i feel like this person um is going to reach out to you definitely i feel like they just they've learned from the past um they've got this brand new perception they're seeing things clearly up close and clear okay so but that should not be the reason why you aren't going after your wish fulfillment you have to go after your wish fulfillment for self you know not because somebody else is coming in and giving you wishes you have to be the one to open up all these great beautiful gifts that you have within yourself no one else can do that for you and you have to own it right so the possibilities here you have the two of swords so the possibility is you may have to well, you may decide to compromise something, but I feel like you're going to have an opportunity here to make a decision. Look, nine of cups, right? And that's what I was talking about. Right now, you're blocked from going into the nine of cups. What's ahead of you? The possibilities, I mean, it like crowning down up, upon you is to make a decision to go after your ninth cup. Make that decision basically saying you know what i don't care what anybody else says i don't care what anybody else does i'm not going to let people project onto me what they think i should be doing how they should think i should be living what they want i'm going to do what is best for me and that's what the two of swords is going within and letting your inner intuition guide you the two of swords is always somebody who stands there and asks or hears other people's advice then shuts them all out goes within blindfolds themselves to everything else external to them so that they can contemplate and think about all the different aspects gather the information and make a decision based on what's best for me best for you best for them not other people best for you okay how virgo are you going to get into your nine of cups energy i feel like you have to remove that box and believe that you're worthy of it whatever that is for you whatever that wish fulfillment 
Okay, whatever that is good health, material abundance, whatever it means for you. And look, Virgo, where you're headed, the wheel of the year. So this is change. Absolutely, things are going to start changing in your favor, but you have to activate this here. You have to activate. You have to remember that just because you've had your heart broken or just because there was cheating or infidelity or there was arguments or you felt deep pain or there was a divorce or loss or depression, maybe even some of you had a surgery and it's like you're trying to recover from that and it's difficult. Whatever the situation is, you have to activate yourself and get rid of that three of swords, forgive, move on and open up the gifts that have been presented it to you they're there they're under your tree some of you have some gifts you might still have your tree up or some of you still have some gifts from people they haven't even opened yet right because i don't know why you know some of you want to send it back you know don't send those gifts back say thank you and some of you you know those gifts are just an absolute burden so re-gift them <laughs> give them to somebody else right so you're heading into the wheel of fortune which is beautiful in january going at least even into february this is this is like um this is like a jackpot, right? Once you start activating, you're going to get more than just the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to get the, the Wheel of Fortune, the jackpot, okay? This is a turning point, and things will begin working out for you, and especially coming out of this Mercury, uh, Mercury retrograde, things start to get going again. Things start to begin flowing again, okay? So I feel like for you, Virgo, with the, the wheel of fortune, you're definitely going to get yourself into a position where you get yourself grounded and stable. Okay, you get yourself um, really like, oh, excuse me, I just had pizza, pizza, <laughs> pizza, Oris, pizza, or Chad, whoever you are, you get yourself in this position of like grounded. Look at this dude. He's like all in his best threads. He's looking fine. He's taking care of self. I mean, the king of pentacles, whether it's um, masculine or feminine energy, the king of pentacles is the finest dressed in <laughs> all of the tarot. Okay, not even the emperor. The emperor is all in like freaking i don't know what's he in like chain mail and all kinds of military uniform like uh, there's no other uh there's no other uh masculine court card in here that's dressed as beautifully as the king of pentacles um so this is like all about the senses and the self this is all about feeling good this is about your health um getting yourself in a good place health wise working on your fitness as you know i always say eating better um, putting that money away in the bank being wise with your investments and really like i don't it feels like a leveling yourself up i just feel like a real shiny glow to you and i know that all sounds aesthetic but we can't discount that you know you can't when you so for example virgo when you get out there like let's say you just start running um 20 minutes every day this is just an example so you just every day you commit yourself to just running the track 20 minutes every day i mean the endorphins kick in you start feeling better then you know you start eating better even you're, you're doing a lot of self-care physically that those things actually begin and you have your praying and you're meditating and giving it to the supernatural but those things actually have an effect on your mental health your mental health begins healing as well because that starts stimulating all of these these positive uh, dopamine receptors you start feeling better about yourself you know i don't know what happened in your past situation here but i know that you, some of you just got tired of waiting for something and you broke free you broke free and you had no idea what you're where you're gonna land that's why the moon is there so you're basically trying to figure it out as you go and i just feel like what's heading towards you or where you're headed is that that major shift okay so let's take a look here and see your advice. Your advice is the hanged man, okay, which definitely means this is all about making a sacrifice, um, sacrificing yourself to the gods, Virgo. I don't know. But this is all of like gaining new perspective, okay? Um, and your advice right now here is to start seeing things, if not yourself, in a new light okay stop looking through those old glasses virgos y'all need to go trash those things and get a nice shiny new pair of glasses or sunglasses you need to get yourself 
I don't know, go sit in a chair upside down and start viewing the world from a different angle. Start seeing things differently because you might be stuck in a rut. For a lot of you, you will start viewing yourself differently as well as you start making these changes. I feel like a lot of this has to do with your self-worth, okay? But let's take a look at what's external to you, which would be this person. Okay, Virgo, like I said, I was feeling that this person was looking at you somehow, some way, okay? They're reminiscing. Somebody's thinking about you. They even have your pictures in their wallet. I don't know if people do that anymore. Or they have pictures saved on their phone. For some of you, they might even have your picture in a frame and they got a little candle next to it and they kiss you goodnight. Whatever the situation is, while you're in separation from someone, either they're looking back on the memories or they're just viewing you in some way. Okay, and I feel like, as I said, someone's going to be reaching out to you, this person, whoever they are. Now, could be a Virgo, another Virgo, could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, um, also a Leo. Okay, so position of this person, here they come. Yep, there's going, somebody's, this, whoever this person is, they're going to bring you some really good news. Um, I feel like this is, I mean, this person is going to be like shooting love darts at you like crazy at least from now for some of you this might even be happening on valentine's day i just want to put that out there right now because we are in january we are going going through to the end of january a couple of weeks and sometimes my readings will go um for a month so for some of you you're going to hear from somebody a love call happy valentine's day or trying to reach out to you and you know tell you they miss you they were thinking of you i'm going to put that heart right there but let's see what else is going on here clarify this eight of wands what else is this person going to do okay ah, hello king of swords we always 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 have this damn gemini showing up don't we i mean it's crazy or uh aquarius or libra okay i feel like ugh, there's so much love coming from somebody here and to come from the king of swords might be a little shocking. <laughs> it might be a little shocking. The king of swords is not the lovey-dovey type. Even Libra, who is ruled by Venus. Okay, the most lovey-dovey type will be... Um, the queen or the king of cups okay they have the most like they're, they're they wear their hearts on their sleeves so whatever your person's sign is they're, they they have that king of swords energy whether that's in their chart somewhere or you know rising whatever it is or they they are actually an air sign yeah this person's gonna be laying it on real real thick which i feel like is going to be kind of a surprise not something that the king of swords okay would usually do so this king of swords look at that four of swords i told you that this person virgo um has learned from the past okay they sit with the four of swords which is uh recovery which is a card of healing after a breakup or after some kind of split and i feel like this person wants to heal this relationship okay now be that as it may you know you still virgo um are working on self you still are making the decision to unlock your your blocks to love self and that is really really important for some of you the separation might have needed to happen so that those positive things could occur individually in you and another person, okay? Um, I also feel like um, this person has been quiet. They may not have reached out to you. They may not have said anything if they had ghosted you or disappeared. Um, I feel like they're going to come in and explain a lot of what happened, why they went silent, okay? Well, I definitely can say that this person's lesson is that they needed to get stable, for sure. Um, they definitely needed maybe to get financially stable or get themselves very grounded. Um, hmm. Interesting message now. I feel like when you're connected to this person, 
they were maybe the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, where um, they might have been just broke, busted, and disgusted, and they knew it. Um, I feel like this person maybe had some foreclosure issues or family conflicts, or um, they lost all their money, or they didn't have a job, or something along those lines. I'm not, I don't know if that's a good enough reason to end something, but... Uh, or they weren't ready to go into a commitment because of some financial problems. I see this person being very stable, grounded, um, good uh, financial uh, stability at this point going forward. And um, maybe even ready to buy a house or um, secure uh, something financial in their lives. It seems like it must have been important to them to be financially independent. It seems like that might have been a strong reason why um, they weren't able to commit to something. Uh, that could have even just been paying the bills and maybe just this person just ran away or stopped. The, the, you know, something happened. Something defi definitely happened. Now, your hopes and fears. I mean, it really feels to me with the Five of Cups here, Virgo, that... You fear you're going to be stuck on those three cups that are spilled. Those three cups that are spilled is just basically like n not having any support, just feeling down and feeling uh, like it's a loss, never getting over the grief, feeling unloved or abandoned or ha living with regret. However, I do feel like you uh, are balancing that with hoping that you'll have that two of cups energy where you will have romantic love partnership with someone, proposal or even marriage. Uh, it's like hoping that you'll come out of this grief stage a lot sooner. But these are your hopes and fears. And you know, you can change your fears. Uh, don't let your fears dictate to you how you're going to go move going forward they are uh, even though they're valid and even though your hopes are valid at the end of the day you choose your destiny if you want to live your life in fear that will be your destiny if you're choosing that if you want to live your life hopeful and uh, believing in love then that will be your destiny and you you choose that also okay now the outcome <laughs> or where the energy is heading is the tower Okay, let me take a clarification for the tower because this feels to me like this tower moment is, is going to be kind of like a total upheaval where the energy is heading. Everything is changing. Wow. Okay, Knight of Wands. Hmm. Nine of Wands. Okay. Oh. Very simple. Something happened to you, Virgo, but it looks to me like you get yourself in a position where you are not taking anything less than you deserve. I don't know what it is, Virgo, but it seems like you're, you've listened to me long enough and you are finally at this place here where it's like, if you ain't coming to my door with that bloody stump, you can keep a step in. Go hop away on your half foot. I don't care. And I feel like that's going to be even shocking for you because you are going to be setting boundaries and standing up for yourself in your relationships going forward. Whether it's with this person who's missing you, maybe they're just missing you. And they're just calling to say that. You're not trying to be triggered. Are they going to try to come in and heal it? I do feel that way. But you're not going to just drop all your boundaries and everything you've worked towards for someone who's just coming in on their passion rather than coming in on their truth okay that's going to be the shocking thing about it more so you're going to shock yourself okay you are definitely look at this here's a tower at the bottom again yeah you're going to be shocking yourself um i feel like for some of you there is going to be this heavy, crazy desire from this person to come in and have a physical, intimate thing with you very quickly. And I feel like a lot of you are going to stand up here and say, you know, no, you cannot come into my house with that energy. We can go somewhere public and sit and work things out, resolve the problems or talk about this stuff. Okay, but you're definitely going to blow somebody's ego out of the water. And it's not because you don't want to have a physical connection, but you somehow maybe you got into a relationship with someone where it started off that way. And then it kind of, I don't know, blurred the lines or made it di difficult for you to have a working partnership because the passion was so strong. And I feel like the passion, Virgo, 
for someone or between you and another person was so strong that it did blur the lines of everything and it made it very difficult for you to actually have a working partnership okay but i i do feel virgo that whoever this your person is oh are they watching you yes they are okay i just pulled the king of pentacles again so it could be you know them looking at you like i said looking how good you are starting to look and you're really taking care of yourself or it's another earth sign okay that's kind of like rethinking this whole thing um okay yeah three of cups wanting to have some type of reunion with you to reconnect um not so much be sloppy or um just party with you and just keep it very you know overindulging or anything like that it feels more like come in as a friend to start off I like the energy don't negate just because somebody is very passionate about you or has a physical strong physical urge with you it doesn't make that person a bad person it's just that they're feeling that energy but I feel like if you've been through something or there was separation and somebody's coming back and acting on those energies first yeah you might want to just kind of be like slow your roll buddy or sister slow your roll because um I can't get, I can't hop back in bed with you. We know that works. Listen, Virgo, you say to that person, right? Listen, the, 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 laying down together and creating that soul, there's no problem creating that soul tie. There's no problem in that area. That was not the problem. The problem was outside of that area when we got out of bed and how things were in the relationship and how were we compatible? What about the chemistry? What about the vision? Did we have, we're on the same page. Those were the things, right? Getting back in, down into the covers and creating that soul tie with that person again is not going to fix those other problems. And I feel like for you, Virgo, you're going to be the energy like, that's right. Okay, as much because it worked fine. That was that part was beautiful. There was like, who has a problem there? Some people have a problem there, but I don't think you had a problem there with this person. Okay, I I have to stop drinking coffee late at night. I I just love in the winter because it gets so cold up here. I absolutely like I can just drink the hot drinks all day. I gotta get some decaf. That's just all there is to it. All right, let me get some romance angels. Don't forget, you guys, if you want to book a personal reading, I have now brought on a team member by the name of Dominic, and his name is Dom, and you can book with him. He is open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you guys can book readings with him all day long, okay? Um, trust me when I tell you he is really, really great. He's really good. Um and if some of you ladies are looking for a guy to just try to figure out your guy, he's the one to go to. And some of you guys that want to book a reading and you want to just talk about some guy stuff that you don't want to share with me, call on Dom. He's there for you. Okay. Let's get into your romance angels. <laughs> Let your friends help you, Virgo. Ask for and accept support from others. Very good. Virgo, don't be a superhero. Um you don't have to do everything yourself. I know you know that you're the only one that can do things right. <laughs> but you know what? Be open to letting other people help you out. Okay, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So there's definitely a decision that's going to be coming up for you, Virgo. Where I do feel like you're, you will be making a decision about a relationship here. Let me just get some physical features, oracle messages to see. Who might be coming towards you? Who is this person? What what are their features? What can you tell Virgo about the features of this person coming towards them? Okay, so somebody has straight hair and someone also has curly hair. They might straighten their hair. Okay, oh, someone also has colorful hair. So uh, maybe they put different colors in their hair now also this could be you you guys so all right somebody's got that <laughs> it just kind of looks like two fishies kissing or like a mirror yin yang i don't know i'm a weirdo okay somebody's got a mustache all right somebody here has blue eyes oh somebody's very muscular all right it's tattoos lots and lots of tattoos or one okay we also have someone here with hazel eyes 
Oh, now we have medium length hair. All right, spirit, give Virgo two more. We've got someone here with a beard. Okay. And also someone who is very tall. All right, they just said one more. Oh, and also someone with red hair. Okay, that was interesting. All right, Virgo, let's see what other messages we could get for you from now until, uh, let's go to February. Let's go to, let's see, February 17th. Okay, this feels like it might have a little Valentine's ring to it. Um, so, okay. Let's get some Moon Pie Tarot messages. What else does Virgo need to know? What other messages does Virgo need to know? Okay, sweet text message. Okay, Virgo, yep, you've got somebody here who's gonna be sending you some sweet loving text messages. This is pretty much the Page of Cups, okay? This is like, a, uh, you might get an apology as well, but this is like a, a very loving, this is a text message with some sweet words or maybe emojis, okay? Let me see. You also have, ooh, take a risk. What have you got to lose, Virgo? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink it. Well, that's a Virgo card advice if I've ever seen one. And you also have some of you are moving to a safe place, so you might be relocating at this time. Uh, maybe a gated community or just figuratively moving to a safer place. Okay, you also have endure and be patient, Virgo. Okay, so don't rush. Take your time, pace yourself with your changes. Yeah, secure home. Yeah, I do feel like a lot of you are relocating or you're moving, you're securing a home or someone here. This may not be you. This could be another, the other person as well because we did see there might have been something with real estate or somebody buying a home or securing a home. You also have, okay, still undecided. So that's kind of you, Virgo, right now. But remember I said the possibility is crowning down on you or the ability to either compromise or make a decision right now. You're still undecided and that's fine. If somebody asks you what you want to do, um, you could just say you're not sure yet. That's, that's a decision. The decision right now is there's no decision and I'm still undecided. Okay, and you also have new love beginnings. Okay, um, so there is a, possibly a motherly figure guiding you in your life, whether here or has passed on. You are divinely blessed. Open your heart to receive. Cherish your children, animals, and be one with love. So also new love beginnings in the sense that there is an opportunity for you to embrace not only yourself, Okay, but um, the offers and the opportunities of love coming into your life. And I feel like I just need to get one more. Okay, yeah, there was definitely some argument and separation that might have happened. There was an argument of some sort or just some t an argument that led to separation or a separation that had a lot of arguments in it. You might have experienced that. And for some of you, you're receiving a loan. If you applied for a loan, it looks like you're going to get that loan. Okay, Let's see if I can get some names and other information for you. Oh, by the way, um, Steve, I think it was, who said yesterday, I read the comment that a bear trap is a, star, st is a term for a s stock market crash. Um, thank you for telling me that. I had no idea. And I don't know if I am predicting a stock market crash or if it was an actual, I don't know, bear trap or if somebody was like going to lose money in the stock market maybe that's what that was just the, the wording and the message I got so uh, I don't know anything about that <laughs> so take it as it resonates you guys okay oh boy hmm <sighs> Some of you are really trying to juggle your time at this time. Definitely. Okay, we've got somebody born in 1972, for sure. Um, all right. Okay, so they're giving me this phrase, razzle-dazzle. I don't know what that means. They're just saying razzle-dazzle. Um
Razzle dazzle. Or someone, okay, now they're saying spaz. Somebody's name might have been spaz, or somebody called someone a spaz. Like, that's so 80s. You spaz. You're such a spazzozoid. Spaz, spazzozoid? Freakazoid? You're such a spaz. All right, I'm just hearing that. They must be like nicknames I'm getting. Um, sp razzle dazzle, spaz. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, they're just showing me an image of like all these rings. I'm seeing a ton of rings. Maybe somebody's a jeweler or is just looking in a, in a glass lit cabinet full of rings. I'm seeing so many rings right now. Beautiful sparkling rings. Okay, they're not giving me, all right. So, so far we've had a nickname and some other weird messages. So many rings. Oh, for some of you, the rings, they might actually, they could be like rings on a phone, telephone rings, a lot of phone calls, a lot of like your phone keeps blowing up as well. Okay. Oh, so they just, all right, they're giving me the word penny. Penny, P-E-N-N-Y. So I don't know if that's a name or it's actually a coin or um they're just showing me a copper penny. They're showing me a penny. Um, it could be... Uh, no, it's... Yeah, like a copper penny. Um, I'm, I'm seeing it on pavement. Copper penny is just sitting there on pavement, like outside, all by itself. If you find a penny, and you... Uh, what is it? Find a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. I think that was from Greece. Yeah, something to do with a penny, okay, is good luck. So if you see a penny or you pick one up, put it in your pocket, um, it could relate to this reading to let you know this is your reading or it's like a just a penny to take along with you for good luck because you are going to be into that Wheel of Fortune very soon. Okay, I just heard the name Gus, G-U-S, Gus. <laughs> Gus. Maybe that's somebody's dog. If I had a dog, I'd name my dog Tony. I think Tony would be a cool name for a dog. Like, yo, Tony, you want to go for a walk? All right, let me see. And I'm hearing Umi. Umi. Okay. Or Sumi. Umi or Sumi. Very beautiful. Okay. And someone's name starts with the letter G. Okay, this is so weird because it's just going to be so... So they give me these images of things and it's like, how do I even describe this? I hate that. They, I just see an image. All right, so I don't know even know what the heck this thing is called. It's like a ball and it's plastic or some thick, clear material and it looks like it floats and not like a crystal ball but it's like a toy and it's like a magic ball and you can twist and turn it and spin it or whatever but it looks like it kind of floats or it's like um i, I, I hate i wish i wish there was a way that i could get my my images that i see um just like kind of like channel them right down from my brain into like a little 3d image so you could see what they look like I'm trying to describe it i've it's like a toy it's some kind of toy i see a hand that's twisting and turning and is kind of like the ball is rolling around on their hand and it looks like it's floating. I don't know what the heck that even means. Maybe you have that or you're playing with that or doing something or you gave it as a gift or got it or you saw it somewhere. And now they're just saying the G7. Okay, the G7. What's going on with the G7? The G7. Okay, it might be an address too. They're just saying the G7. Okay, something to do with a leader, the leader of the G7. The leader, it's a military thing. Oh, something to do with the world. Okay, this feels very political. All right, there's a leader of the G7. I don't even know if there is such a thing. Um, uh, there's a G7 summit. Isn't that like, um, I don't know. Um, there's something to do with the world, okay? The globe, global, 
Global G7. What's going on with that now? Okay, they're taking me down a road here. Some of you might be attending that or, or doing something in attendance. Isn't that in Switzerland? I, I'm not sure. But, okay, what's going on here? Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so... There's a military thing, or there's a, all right, this is getting into complete political thing, but I'm channeling this message, so I'm going to give it. There's a military thing, or a military leader, or someone who's part of a leadership group of the G7, something along the lines of that, that involve the leaders of the world, okay? There is going to be some type of healing, that's going to come out of this and it's something connected to the military there is some type of hope renewal and healing um attached to this and it feels to me like there's a woman who might also be part of this g she might be a female leader maybe of a country i can't believe we're getting into this this is this feels necessary She's going to be the caveat for change and healing, renewal, and hope in regards to, I guess, world chaos or war or something along those lines. Yeah. So, okay. If you watch the news or if you're keeping your eye on the news or the world news or anything like that, and this starts happening, please leave a comment. Or if this is happening and you already know, let me know it, how this relates. Or if, if, if this is like a prediction of some sort that's going to come true. If there are people out there or who's listening that have a real concern about what's happening in the world right now, as far as the military and as far as, you know, uh, geopolitical issues and stuff like that. Um, I feel like the message here is... There's going to be change and things, there's going to be peace and things are going to be okay. I, I'm leaving that there. All right, let me get some signs. Okay, we have Aries. It's funny because I was thinking Aries there. We have Cancer, double Aries and a Taurus. Those are significant signs. Let's see. Okay, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. So now Gemini's here. All right, Sagittarius and Libra is showing up. And the other same other signs. Okay, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces again. All right, if that resonates for you, great. Okay, we have 323, three, significant. We have 126, significant. 418, significant. And 1070 significant okay let's see uh i'll call out some august or september birthdays okay september 4th september or august 30th september 5th september 6th the 10th the third and the first okay um Ooh, okay. August 28th. Definitely August 28th. Um, August 23rd. Okay, we have September, I said September 8th. September 21st. Okay, somebody is 50 years of age. Somebody was born in 1989. Okay. And 1982, significant. We also have August 25th. All right, Virgo, I think that's going to be it for your reading. That was very, very interesting, especially that last section, which I never do political readings or things like that. I mean, I think when we did the uh, Princess Diana, uh, was that what it was? No, it was a queen. Uh, I think somebody left a message that that actually came true, and I predicted it, and I forgot all about it. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you enjoy that. Oh, look, Gemini's over here, you guys. Hello, Gemini. I feel like that's my new thing. Whenever I see Gemini, it's going to be like a Seinfeld Newman thing. Hello, Gemini. How are you? All right. Um, oh, there's Leo. 
is here and double Pisces yeah Wow, Leo, Leo, Pisces, Pisces. Hmm, interesting. All right, you guys. So again, if you want to get a personal reading, I'll say it again. Go over to my booking site, moonpytarot.com or kellyannerose.com. Links are below. And if you would like to book a reading with either me or Dominic, it is all available there for you to go ahead and do that. He has a lot more hours open than I do, and he is on the West Coast. So if that gives you any, the West Coast of the US, if that helps you at all, and yeah, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Um, have a great night and take care. Bye.